Good morning, everyone. Figured I'd give you guys a little bit of my route to work uh, coming down 70 to Denver and give you guys an idea of what the tires sound like inside the cabin, along with just some feedback. So, hope you guys enjoy this. My uh, phone is mounted on the front, so uh, for all you guys worried about stuff like that, don't worry. All right, let's test it out. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day. I'm coming down the hill. For those curious, um, I don't look through the camera as I'm driving and hope the footage is good. And usually it works out well. For those of you who are worried about I'm driving through a screen, that's not the case at all. It's just standard driving. Anyways, I hope everyone is doing well. I just wanted to do a little filming as I came down the hill and uh, just kind of show you guys a little bit of my route, see how everyone is doing. Um, and I did want to say this too. So I haven't been driving the Tacoma at all, very much, very, very little actually, which has actually saved me on miles because um, I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with it after the lease ends. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the 2019 TRD Off-Road Edition, and we did do a lease on it, um, and this was solely based off one of our um, general manager friends. He owns, or he's general manager at Temple Chrysler Jeep in uh, Temple, Mack Hike, so if you ever need a Jeep, please go on by there. He's freaking phenomenal. But anyways, he said the way we trade in vehicles so often that we should try doing a lease, um, help save us some money in the long run, so we gave it a shot. This truck, again, is great. Um, it does have a few quirks, which I mentioned. A lot of them are very specific to my use with the vehicle. So if you're not using the vehicle the way I do, um, most everything about this truck is, is just great. The way it drives, the way its handling characteristics are, its truck use, uh, the power ratio, most of that is, is generally good. The power is the only thing that I've consistently had every single person um, complain a little bit about on. There's a few people out there who, who are totally fine with it, but if you've driven other things, or if you have um, comparable resources, then you know a little bit that it's it's underpowered, and whether that's from the the engine, or the emissions department, or, or the gearing, whatever it is, it still needs just a little bit more oomph at the end of the day. But again, overall, great vehicle. And this is the six speed, so I really like it, especially on these hills. So I'll put it in fifth or, and just kind of coast down without even having to brake a lot. Saves the brakes, especially coming down these steeper portions that are at like 6% grades. So overall, that's kind of my feedback on that. Now I did want to say this real quick. Having not driven this vehicle for so long really renews my appreciation for it. I, I really like this truck. It smells new again. Like I said, out of three months, I've probably driven it like six times, which is uh, amazing. The handling is really nice. The front IFS is great. I love that about it. Just really with the happy with the truck overall. So if that gives you kind of any consolation. Now, I do mention to people a lot of times that the sunroof is a little bit low, especially if you're taller. So again, I'm 5'7", a little bit on the shorter side as some people like to point out. But the problem I have, and I wear my hat a little bit higher too, so again, it's all relative, but my hat hits the roof sometimes. So if you're, if you're taller and you have a sunroof and you're looking at this, you're gonna be a little bit closer. So I maybe have two fingers tops between me and the, me and the top of the roof. I mean, it's right there. So again, for those of you who are like six foot tall and, and say that's perfectly fine, perfect. I'm glad it works out for you. But for, you know, other people, it may, it may be an issue. Again, not a, not a huge problem, not a deal breaker or anything like that. And especially if you don't have the sunroof. Now we wanted the premium leather seats because uh, we wanted the, the heating option. Shay just really likes it. It's just a nice feature, especially with the, the baby down. I mean, just coming off the off the cold weather, especially living in the mountains like we do. Sorry about that guys. Like we do, these roads here in Denver are just shitty sometimes. Um, but anyways, so that's why we ended up with the sunroof option. Overall, I don't know if I'm a huge sunroof fan, but on the flip side, sometimes when you do have the windows down and it has that like muffling ear on your ear effect where it just kind of like hits on your ears really bad, it does. it is nice to be able to open the sunroof and it kind of evens out all the pressure. So that that's a good feature for it. Plus it's kind of nice every now and then when it's really hot or you just need um, some extra airflow. Uh, what you see behind me, that is the spare tire carrier, so that's kind of how that blocks the rear view. It's very similar to a Jeep or FJ or an H3 if you ever had any of those. Not a huge deal, you just use your mirrors more. I mean, it's like having something in the back of your 4Runner or something. But anyways, overall, again, I just wanted to mention how much I, I do appreciate having this uh, the Tacoma again and, and not driving it every day. It's been really nice. You also see the hammock in the back for Moose. If you're interested in that, let me know. It's worked out great because at first I was just throwing Moose in the back and he's getting the seats all dirty. And someone mentioned one of these hammocks and it's just, it's worked out perfectly because he just hops in, he lays down, he, 
well, he doesn't lay down because he sticks his head out the window and drools all over the place. But halfway through the trip, he usually lays down and just enjoys the road, road time. So it works out perfectly. It's a nice little U-shape. It is like a hammock. It just ties to the front and the back. And it has some side panel covers too, which works out perfectly. Anyways, just want to share that with you guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Ready to get out on the trails. I say that every video because it's true and I keep thinking about it and I keep wanting to do it. I'm back at work now, so I have to, uh, I can't make it on weekday runs or anything like that anymore. So I have to figure out something for the weekend. Someone did mention us doing a meetup in the Denver area. So, or, and hitting up a trail, maybe camping or, or just, you know, just uh, maybe doing a bonfire or, or cooking some hot dogs or something like that. Totally down for that. Let me just get through these next couple weeks. Shay is not allowed to hold anything over like 10 pounds uh, for the first six weeks after uh, our baby was born. If you're new, we have a 21 day year old now. Um, and so uh, Shay is just finishing up the healing process and uh, we'll be able to go from there. I just, I, I obviously can't run around um, and leave her by herself uh, besides work too often uh, in case she needs something. So there you go. All right, again, hope everyone's doing well. It's a great day out. I was, I thought it was gonna rain, so I didn't ride my motorcycle today. I rode it yesterday, it was great. So uh, for all you other riders, stay safe out there. And to everybody else, enjoy yourself, and we will talk to you soon. If you like this, let me know. Uh, kind of a little bit different, but uh, give it a shot. Thanks, guys.